Hey guys, it's Mr. Savage here, and today I wanted to talk about Agent Locke returning in Halo Infinite. So let's get right into it. <laughs> As an agent of the Office of Naval Intelligence, a lot of Agent Locke's life is shrouded in mystery. Agent Locke was first introduced to us in the Halo Master Chief Collection trailer. We had seen him prior to this in box art, but this was really the first time we had heard his name and properly seen him. We also followed Locke's story on how he volunteered to assassinate Vel Fadam, aka the Arbiter in a number of Halo 2 anniversary terminals. Locke was also featured in the live action web series Halo Nightfall and it really seemed like 343 were really trying to push Agent Locke to be this pivotal character in the Halo series and going forward could possibly be the successor to Master Chief. But then with the release of Halo 5 Guardians in 2015 the reception to Agent Locke was not as positive as 343 Industries hoped. This was due to him and Fireteam Osiris taking up the majority of Halo 5's campaign. In fact, out of the 15 missions in Halo 5, you play as Locke in 12 of them and only 3 as the Master Chief. This, on top of the blandness of his character, made fans not take a liking to him too much. And in fact, a lot of Halo fans actually hated Agent Locke because of Halo 5's poor execution of the character. And of recently, he's became a bit of a meme in the Halo community. Now it definitely seems like the future of Halo, at least the mainline Halo games, that the Master Chief will be the sole playable character in the story. Well that's at least what franchise director Frank O'Connor seemed to imply in a post where he said, The volume of give us more Chief at the end of Halo 5 was significant and so I think, if anything, he's slightly more important now than he has ever been, certainly to our franchise. But should Agent Locke even play a role at all in Halo Infinite? Well, it would be a bit weird to see him just disappear altogether. I definitely don't think he should play a big role, I just think that Locke should be present in Halo Infinite and that his story should be acknowledged and that he is still there and doing his own thing but the story shouldn't by any means linger on Locke and instead focus on the Master Chief and what he's doing. Agent Locke is a very by the book Spartan. He doesn't really have much of his own character even to him. He just blindly follows orders from Oni and the UNSC. He's just a very generic soldier in general and I believe that's why fans don't really like him that much. But what do you guys think? Do you think Locke should appear at all in Halo Infinite? Do you like Locke? Leave a comment in the comment section down below and subscribe if you haven't already. This is Mr. Savage and thank you for watching.